Do you feel like our prayers aren't answered? Well, the reason behind this is that you're not praying in the right way. The universe operates by specific spiritual laws that never fail. And the key is learning how to align with these laws effectively so that all your prayers get answered. And in today's video, I want to share with you the right way to pray and manifest so that you can unlock abundance and receive everything you desire. Throughout your life, maybe consciously or subconsciously, you have been working within these laws, probably without even realizing it. But now, it's time to learn how to use them intentionally to manifest what we want. All your dreams and desires, whether wealth, prosperity, or good health. Whatever comes into your mind, and you can imagine having it in your life, you can manifest it intentionally. You can just ask the universe and turn all of your desires into reality. So, how do you ask correctly? It's about understanding and applying these spiritual laws in your favor. When you pray or set intentions, you're essentially working with these universal laws. Think of it as placing an order with the universe. But just like placing an order at a restaurant, you need to be clear and specific. You wouldn't just say, I want food, you'd say exactly what you want to eat. Similarly, when you pray or manifest, be clear and specific about what you desire. Picture it vividly in your mind. Feel the emotions of already having it. This clarity and emotional connection are vital. It's like sending a detailed request to the universe. Also, believe and expect that what you've asked for is already on its way to you. Trust that the universe is working behind the scenes to bring it into your reality. The universe responds to your requests based on how well you align with its laws. Be clear, specific, and believe in what you're asking for. This simple shift in your approach to prayer or manifestation can make all the difference in manifesting your desires. Trust in the process and you'll see those doors of abundance opening wide for you. Think about this process like everything we think, say, and feel has the power to show up in our lives. It's like our thoughts and words are little magnets attracting things to us. And sometimes we use the wrong words or focus on the wrong things. And that's why we're not seeing the results we want. So picture this. You're asking the universe for something you want, but you're doing it in a way that's kind of like saying, I'll get it someday. That's what we call using future tense words. Now, hold up a second. Why does that matter? Well, it's because when we use future tense, we're telling the universe that what we want is always gonna be in the future, never in the present. And guess what? The universe listens to us. So if we keep saying we'll get something someday, that's exactly what we'll get, just more someday. We can change and flip the script of our lives with our consciousness. What we speak and think becomes reality. So instead of saying, I'll get it someday, we can start saying, I have it now. Yep, that's right. By using present tense words, we're telling the universe that what we want is already here with us at this moment. Start using the present tense. Think of your desires that are already fulfilled. Your dreams have already become a reality. Trust me, it might feel a bit weird at first, but it's like training your brain to focus on what you want right now, not later. And when you do that, you're going to see some amazing things start to show up in your life. You know what? Let me give you an example. So you might say today, I will have a wonderful day. But the thing is, tomorrow never really arrives because when it does, it's today. So when we ask for something in the future, we're telling the universe, hey, I want this thing, but not right now. And guess what? The future never comes. That's why it's super important to talk to the universe in the present tense. Instead of saying, I will have, switch it up to I have. So it's like saying today, I am having a wonderful day. See the difference. You're claiming that goodness right now, in this moment. You are living in the moment. You are not waiting for the wonderful day to come. You are having a wonderful day. And the magical part is when we speak and ask in the present tense, we feel the energy shift. Just now when you said, 
Today, I am having a wonderful day. You feel a different energy. And as we all know about manifestation and the universe, we attract more of what we feel. So, when you are feeling wonderful, you attract more wonderful energies toward you throughout the day. And when you do the same thing every day, you have an amazing life filled with prosperity and abundance. Well, when we talk to the universe in the present tense, it's like we're speaking its language. Affirmations become super powerful because we're telling the universe what we want as if we already have it. And trust me, the universe listens. There's one major pitfall that catches many people off guard during the manifestation process. And I know many of you are still unaware of it. A big mistake people make when they're trying to manifest something is they get all picky about when they want it to show up. Imagine you're asking the universe for a new car. You're like, I want it right now. But the universe doesn't work like a fast food drive through It's more like a wise parent who knows the perfect timing for everything. So when we try to micromanage when we get what we want, it's like being a spoiled kid throwing a tantrum because we didn't get our way. Been there, done that right. But here's the deal, God or the universe, or whatever you want to call it, follows its own rules. And part of those rules is that everything we desire comes to us at the right time. Trust me, it's true. So getting out of that loop is the most important part if you are manifesting something. If you're asking for something and then constantly checking the clock, waiting for it to show up, you're sending mixed signals to the universe. It's like saying, I want this thing but I don't believe it's gonna happen. And guess what? The universe picks up on that doubt, and it's like, a hey, maybe not. What I want you guys to do is sit back and relax. Let go of the desires. Once you have decided what you want and demanded it from the universe, now it's time for you to sit and relax. Let the universe do its job. It's the responsibility of the universe to bring your desires up to you. You just need to have some patience and trust the timing of the universe. Know that what you desire is already on its way to you, and stay positive and open to receiving it. Don't sweat the small stuff or try to rush the process. The universe sends signals time, and again saying that your desires have been heard. And if you want to know what kind of signals, make sure you watch my previous videos on signs that the universe is sending you your desires. Once you've asked for what you want, you've got to stay in that vibe. You know, like keeping that positive energy going. It's gonna show up when you least expect it. Seriously. So, let go of the need to control everything and just trust in the process. The universe has got your back, and it's gonna arrange everything in perfect timing for you to receive your goodies. Have faith, keep believing, and stay open to receiving. Another thing to keep in mind is never to be negative about receiving abundance and wealth. I know sometimes we don't have money and our wallets might feel light. But keep saying to yourself, I am abundant. Seriously, repeat it like it's your favorite song lyrics. I know it is quite complicated and to truly believe that you are wealthy and abundant when you have nothing. But the trick is to stop focusing on what you don't have and start appreciating the small stuff. The universe starts sending even more amazing things your way. I want you to try out these manifestation techniques for yourself. Start affirming your desires in the present tense. Feel abundant even when your wallet's feeling a bit light. And stay grateful for all the good stuff in your life. Give it a shot and see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep manifesting those dreams and living your best life. You've got this.